Good morning. It is Saturday, June 19th. As you can see, I'm in my car. I am moving. Today is D-Day. My car is packed. You can't see my mom, but she's in the car behind me and her car is packed full of stuff. Super excited. I made a mistake. I packed my SD card somewhere in, I'm a full fool, fool, you know, as my mom calls them, and I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna be filming on my phone today, filming the move and stuff. So you'll see in a moment, well, a moment for you but an hour and a half for me when we get to the apartment and we're gonna start unpacking the stuff we're gonna be unpacking from the service elevators because they don't let people move in from the front so yeah let's get going and woo woo moving day hey guys finally at the apartment i'm about to start unpacking i have a lot of stuff a lot a lot of stuff and then i'm in the studio by the way and then i have my bed behind me and that's my moving buddy. It's my mom. Say hello. Hello, please. Hey. Hey, Anne. I thought you were about to disappear. Excuse my ashy mouth. I'm so thirsty. I need to drink water. But yeah, we're about to start assembling my bed. This is this. I got this bed from Wayfair. I'll put the link to it in the description box below in case you are interested. I only paid $711 in total after tax um because i got it on sale it, i think it was originally like 1500 and i got it on sale so but you know i'm very pleased with myself if it, you know me in real life you know i am a bargain hunter i love to save money um all the other furniture i will show you guys in like my empty versus furnished apartment tour because that will be coming later because i don't have a couch yet i'm about to be sitting on the floor but yeah babe let's get it together <laughs> my bed we finished making the bed i haven't put the quilt on because it's in the washer but this is what it looks like like i said i'll put the link in the description box i got my mattress and my foundation from low i just need to get like a bed skirt because i don't like the way that looks i have my humidifier up already and i have a floor lamp i just need to get a plant and i left my plants at home because there was no space but i'm gonna put a plant right here to kind of cover the cables and then on this side is going to be my um, 
it's gonna be this right here that I have on my key. I just have it here because I'm gonna put my TV on here for the time being because I don't have a TV stand yet. And then I have my full length Velvet Mirror from Ikea up already. Um, and then on this side, there's nothing yet, but this is where my couch is gonna go. And then the TV will be in the middle of the room. And then that's the kitchen with Miss Girl in the kitchen. And yeah, I have a lot of cleaning to do today. Later on, and I'm already so tired. Hair heard. That's pretty much it. Once the washer stops or the dryer stops, I'm gonna take the cold towel and finish making my bed. And then I need to go to Trader Joe's, and I'm probably just gonna go into Target because instead of buying water bottles, I bought a big water pitcher. I'll show you guys when I get home that I can just refill instead of continuously buying water bottles because that's admin and carrying it. I'm tired. Um, and I need to get a Swiffer jet, I need to get some cleaning supplies, I need to get a trash can. I'm gonna put the trash can. It's on the side right there. I need to get a trash can and what else do I need? I need a bunch of stuff and I'll show you guys when I come back. But yeah, see you in Jiffy. So this is the kettle that I got and it's this brand. It's the Uber. Is that Uber? Ah, uh, Amy. It's UBTK. I think that's the name. It's yeah, Uber Appliance. So it's the UBTK black kettle, and it's just a plain clear glass kettle. I don't like it because it doesn't sit evenly. I don't know what is wrong with it, but minor annoyance. And then I got these mini oven mitts from this brand called Novell Kitchen, and these are so cute. They're green, which is my favorite color. So it is this right here. And then these are the dish towels that I got. All of this stuff I got from Home Goods. And these are the, what brand is this? A Bianca made in Portugal set of two. So that's the brand and they're just checkered black and white. And then the knife set that I got is this brand here. Zlis, Zlis, I don't know, Z I I don't know. Six piece knife set, which is all the knives that, that I need. And the spoons that I got, like the flatware that I got is the 16 piece cutlery set. And it is by Bread and Butter. And I got this from Home Goods as well. This is, I think only 20 bucks, $24 for this. And then the um, washing basket that I got, the laundry basket is this one, Ava Multi-Use Storage. And these are the placemats that I got, Soho Living set of four. They're this like, they have a little sparkle. I thought that was, Cute. And then I have this adjustable, um, what is it called? Dishwashing, dish drying rack. And this is the name of it, the Joseph Joseph Extend Expandable Dish Rack with Draining Plug. Super convenient because it shrinks down to be that size. And I have that all in the dishwasher now, just washing. I just wanted to show you guys before I threw the boxes out. So for the toothbrush holder, I'm talking, I'm recording. Let me turn this up. So for the toothbrush holder, I got this one. It doesn't have a brand name. I got it from Marshalls. It just looks like that. I wanted all black stuff, which is why my shower caddy, my bin, and my um, toilet brush, and my toilet paper holder are all black. So I got one of these. And then I got a matching one for like lotion. Oh, that was super cool. And then I actually bought a thing of soap. It just comes like this. I'm just gonna take the label off. And this one was from Home Goods. Um, the other stuff was from Marshalls. And then part of the Marshalls set was one of these where I can put like um, cotton pads and stuff. Because um, usually I just kept them in the container. But you know, we're trying to be, trying to be cute. This would come off. That would be great. Okay. Woo! Oh, yes. And then before I put anything, I'm obviously just gonna wipe them down with a Clorox wipe because it has dust in it. 
I hate that they put these stickers and they're so hard to remove so it ends up working. You know how an easier way of removing these things. Put me on game chat. This is it's annoying. it's just a minor annoyance. Okay. For the candle in my bathroom, I got this one. It's called it's by DW Home Essence Santal Musk. And I got this in Marshall's it was $8. I got two of these. Oh, it smells so good, man. I can't wait to light them. Good morning. Um, it is Sunday, the 20th. Happy Father's Day. Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's like 8.14. And I can't sleep anymore. Oh, I can't sleep anymore and I don't want to sleep anymore because then if I oversleep I'll feel even worse but I'm not really tired I need to get up, drink some water make some breakfast I need to get some things online I was going to go to Walmart to get the trash again but I can't do it I'm too tired um yeah, I'm just too tired. Hey guys. I still haven't found my tripod. Actually, not if I haven't found it. I know where it is. It's in my car, but I keep forgetting to take it out. But it is Thursday. Girl, what? It's Wednesday. I came back from orientation. I'm working from home and I'm just opening the package. I got a pair of shoes. I need a black shoes from Simi. Hold on. So badly, so 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 badly needed a pair of black shoes. So I got a pair from Simi. Um, I hope they fit. Usually Simi shoes fit me pretty nicely, and I hope they're not too high because I don't want to be walking like a baby deer. So let's see. Ooh, these are cute. I got these. Are they cute. Yes, I have a large foot. Whatever. These are the, I think they're called Troy. Yeah, the Troy. I'll put them, you already know. I'll put them in the description box below. Let's see what they're talking about, bro. Okay, let's see. Ow. Oh, this stretches, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Hey, wait a minute, Simi shoes. Hold up. Let me find out. These are cute. Do I feel sturdy? I don't know if I feel like off balance because of the floors in my house or if there's something wrong with this shoe. Let me see. Oh no, these are going back. They're like a bit too small but on my other foot. Let me show you guys. Okay, so they look like this. My feet are ashy, I know. But like, on this foot, it's like a bit, like it's my foot is like hanging off. Let me see. Yeah, you see that? Like my foot, let me put my camera down. You can see it, but like, these are not comfortable at all. I'm so disappointed. Like for me, it's just, I don't know. They're, like they're not too high. Like it's not a height thing. But I feel like it could definitely, the shoe could have been longer. I feel like they're too short. It makes me look like I have gigantic feet. I feel like they make me look like I have giant feet, but like, I don't know, like, is my foot hanging off? Why am I sitting like that? Stop. <laughs> but like, I don't know if my foot is too big for them. Let me consult my mother and see what she says. Okay, so it looks like that. Um, I like it. It's the perfect length. It's not too short. It's not too long. It's a little bit shorter on me in the back, but it is to be expected. I really like it. I think it's cute. It's a bit big in the top, but like nothing too crazy. I feel like if I put some titty tape in there, things won't be seen real, real cute. But this is very cute, isn't it? Super duper cute. I have somewhere to be tomorrow and I might just wear this. Do I have cream shoes? Okay, the other thing that I got is this skirt. This one right here. I saw this on Malia's face. I'll put the picture up. And I 
needed it immediately. So I hope it fits me nicely. I did get a medium in the skirt only because I bought a skirt from Zara two weeks ago. It was the tie-dye skirt and I got a small and it was way too tight in the hip area. So that's why I got a medium for this skirt. If it's too big, I'm gonna be so mad because what size am I then? Like, what do you want me to do? But let's zip this up. Ooh, this is back to front. I was like, this looks so ugly. Meanwhile, this is cute. I feel like this would be, oh. I think this would be cute for like a, like a brunch maybe. I definitely need to take it in a little bit, but if I had gone to small, it was gonna be too big. Chat, I can't win, hold on. So that's what it looks like without me adjusting anything, but I need to have it taken in like on the side, like, oh my goodness. Like on this side, I'll probably have it taken in, but it's very cute. I just leave it alone because like obviously I'm gaining weight little by little but this is cute I like it with like a white bodysuit this is mucho cute and this is the other skirt that I got I obviously need to press it but it's very cute I feel like for like a brunch date this would be cute and I did get this in a medium and I know if I got on this in a small it was going to be an absolute disaster which is why everything is very confusing for me, but I quite like it. Good morning. It is Saturday, June 26th. It's like 11, it's almost 12 p.m. I actually need to shower and get out of the house because I have somewhere to be. I'm so tired. I went out yesterday. I had sushi and I went out to like three bars. I had a good time, um, but I'm so tired now because I was already running on fumes. Now I'm running on fumes today. And I have a bunch of errands to do. I need to get a trash can and I need to get a dry Swiffer because I have the wet jet, but I don't like using that every day. So I need to get like a dry Swiffer that I can just like Swift every night before I go to bed. And then the wet jet I can use like once a week. I also need to get, I feel like going to Lush and spending money. I don't need to get anything from there, but I just feel like spending money. So I might go to Mall of Millennia later today because they have a Lush and they have a Macy's and my mom was telling me that I can get good pots. So I need pots. I can get some nice pots from Macy's and I can get a nice trash can from Macy's because they have good sales, um, which is the leading thing. So if I go there, I may as well. I have the cutest dress that I, that strawberry dress that I showed you guys, I think I'm gonna wear that today. Very, very cute. But I also just got a package from Soft Services. I ordered their stuff. I saw this girl, she's an esthetician. Her name is Ashley White. Is that Thunder for real? Stop. But her name is Ashley White on Twitter. Her handle is Skin Class Hero. And she was talking about soft services. Like their stuff is like really good. And I messaged them just to find out for myself like if their stuff would work for KP. Because as you guys know, I do have KP on the backs of my thighs and on my hips. And it's a sort it's a soft spot for me. Like I don't like having bumpy skin. Like it's not I don't like it. Like I personally don't like it. Um the first aid beauty, the KP whatever bump whatever the bump eraser scrub that works really well for me in conjunction with like uh exfoliating lotion like the uh am lactin has this lactic acid 15 percent lactic acid the delish condish uh lactic acid cream body cream that's amazing please if you can try it but i decided like i'm trying out new stuff just to see like what works best for me because you know i'm the experimentation queen but i just got my soft services stuff first of all their packaging is so cute let me show you so it comes in a bag like this. It was like rolled up and tied at the top. And then you open it, this is the stuff that's inside. So it comes with a buffing bar. Their packaging is so cute. It's a very chic. So it's two, oh, it's actually two of these and it's for your body. And these are just like the instructions. You can pause and read. So see, good for keratosis pearl. I cannot speak. Keratosis, polaris, bumps on backs of arms, thighs and hips, which is literally me, thighs and hips. Um, rough elbows, knees, heels. Uh, my heels can be a little bit, and then areas prone to ingrown hair. So if you have ingrown hair in your underarms, bikini area, your, I guess maybe your neck, I wouldn't say chin, maybe not even neck, but like if you have ingrown hairs on your body, this might be something that you want to try. And then it also, I got the kit, like your smoothing kit. 
and then i got this as well which is their smoothing lotion which is a calming gel exfoliant and this is for your body again love the pot the what is packaging i can't think um so you use that and you use this before you apply your moisturizer so you apply to areas that are uneven in texture or color for best results use daily and this is it love this i really like their packaging it's giving me what's supposed to have gave. and then it comes with this is the kit it comes with a daily toning lotion so clean dry skin spread all over for fast absorbing hydration and layer more as needed so it's a lightweight body lotion that hydrates like a dense cream helps improve the health of every body skin type and is formulated with sensitive skin in mind really like this really like this love their packaging and then lastly it comes with this which is a pump for i guess this is probably for the lotion i think yeah i think this is for the cream we'll see once we open it um but yeah love that and they have a statement on sustainability on there love the pa i really like their packaging a lot and i also got stuff from misa misa house fragrance house i don't know how to say that properly but ooh, let me make sure this doesn't have my address on it okay so it's just like a thank you card and their theme is black and white love that so i got the sheer vanilla stuff so this is the sheer vanilla body cream and then i've, I've never tried this by the way <laughs> so wish me luck i got the sheer vanilla bath and shower oil as you can tell i'm a vanilla fan and i got the shower gel as well and then is there anything else in here yes there is what is this what is this oh the perfume oil yes i did get this as well and then it just has like my my receipt obviously and that's it but i like their packaging i like when brands like really put thought into their packaging but let's see how this stuff smells because oh that smells so good Ooh, that smells so good this is like a it reminds me of the like if you like the bath and body works brown sugar you're gonna like this and i love that oh this smells so good oh this smells so good Ooh, we are about to use this today because i need to what time is it i can't see the time but i need to shower and get what get on let's smell the uh, the body oil but let's smell the perfume oil Oh, that sounds good, man. I'm about to layer this today. Oh, I need to get deodorant. Oh my god. I love that natural deodorant, but it is summertime in Florida and besties. It works, but by the end of the night, I was kind of like, hmm, if I've been out there for like an extra 30 minutes, I would be very ripe. I would be ripe as fuck. Um, but let's go. Let me smell this other stuff. Let's see. I don't think the buffing bar has a scent to it. Like, I don't think the soft services stuff has, like, scent to it. Let's see, so it is... Oops. Oops. Should I actually let like this out? Okay, here we go. So it's two bars, they just come wrapped like that. It doesn't smell like anything. Which I like, honestly, because I feel like super fragrant, like, exfoliating stuff just does not sit well with my skin. And then this is the smoothing solution it just looks like that comes in a tube we do the youtube thing there you go i don't think that's gonna focus but you get the gist just says a uh, common solution love that i really like their packaging a lot i'm such like I love packaging. Like companies that have nice packaging, it makes me want to buy from you more because I feel like you've just taken that extra step to really like brand yourself. Like love that. And then this is the daily toning lotion for body. Looks like so. Let's see if it smells like anything. It literally smells like air. Like I don't smell anything. Oh, and then that's what the pump is for. The reusable pump is for that. 
Okie dokie, perfect. Love this. Okay, so let me break my boxes down. Actually, let me just put them inside a bigger box. But yeah, that's it. Let me go ahead and get ready and I'll be back once I'm done. I don't have that much time. Monday, June 27th. I'm getting ready to leave the house. I'm going to get tacos with one of my friends, Polini. And I just need to like get ready. <clears throat> um, and I have 20 minutes to figure out some makeup on this face. And I gotta get the fuck out. So I use the NYX Bear With Me. I don't know where the camera is. Oh, there. I use the NYX Bear With Me. This is their um, hydrating jelly primer. This is similar to the Milk Hydro Grip I've heard. I've never used that one, but I really like this quite a bit. And then I have a Beauty Blender. I got this one from Target. It's that Sonia Kashuk brand. Um, so it's one that I use. I just make it damp a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is the foundation, I use the same foundation, I've been using the same foundation forever. It's either this or I use the Pat McGrath. So this one is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear. And I am in the shade 13.2 and that's the colors that they use in the UK. Um, so I'm not really sure what color I am here because I bought this while I was living in Egan. It is probably on its way out, not going to lie. Because I think 12 months. So we're like three months past the use by date, but I'm not going to waste product. I'm um, just gonna blend. Oh, I almost forgot. I usually take setting spray in between, and I just. I find that this helps my makeup to set a lot better as well. And you just blend. But yeah, we're about to go get tacos. I think we're getting, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, the Berea tacos is what we are on our way to get. I have exactly 20 minutes because I was laying in my bed because I was really tired. Um, doing dallying and posting on IG instead of getting up and getting ready. So now I'm in crunch mode, crunch time. Um, yeah, we're gonna get tacos. I can't wait. I haven't had tacos and it's been a minute since I had a taco, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, just blend it out. Looks pretty good to me. What do you I'm currently stuck on 408. I have a flat as in my tire is completely flat. So I'm having to wait for State Farm to come and get me because I have State Farm with roadside and it's gonna take them 59 minutes to get to me. And I'm starving. My phone is about to die. I don't have a car charger. 2,000 years later. Hey guys, how are you? Today is Tuesday, Monday. M what day is it today? I say it's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday, June 29th. It is 3 p.m. I just came back from getting my TV at Best Buy. So I had initially bought it online and this was last week and Best Buy has two day shipping. But the package was sitting, it just says like a uh, label being created at FedEx this entire time, literally until today. It still hasn't been updated. So I called the Best Buy close to my house and they let me switch to pick up because they had a bunch in stock and I went to pick it up. But when I got to Best Buy, I could not check in for like for whatever reason I couldn't check in. So I had to go inside and pick it up myself. Um, fortunately, they were willing to put it in my car for me. Um, but, and this is the reason why I wanted it to be delivered here versus me picking it up at the store because I have a two door, so my car is really small and it was a mission getting it to fit inside my car and then like having to carry it from the parking garage to here, it was admin, but I got it done. So we're going to go ahead and set the TV up Woo! because I already had, um, I'm doing the laundry by the way i already had that tv which is the tv that i've had since 2000 and 2015 maybe 2016 i don't remember but i had it all throughout college um and that's the one that i was using but it's pretty small as you can see it's a 32 inch and i wanted something that would like actually fit in my living room so i'm gonna go ahead and set it up i do not have a what do you call it a tv stand um, and the nice ones are like mad expensive. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to spend the extra money 
or if I should get something that's slightly cheaper. Like it's um, it's admin. All I know is that my budget, I'm not spending anything more than $500 on a TV stand. You're dr you're drunk. You are drunk, and I'm not doing that because I was looking on a few websites, and some of them were like a thousand, sixteen hundred dollars for a TV for a TV stand. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. Woo -woo. I will leave the link to the speakers that I got in the description box below. I really like them so far. Hey guys, um, it's me, live. I'm editing the vlog now and I'm trying to post it today. It is Monday, July 5th. It's almost 7 p.m. And I realized I didn't film an outro, but thank you so much for watching my vlog. I truly appreciate it. I'm trying to make these a somewhat regular thing, so let me know if you guys like vlogs. If not, too bad because I'm still going to be posting them. If you want to see my hair, I messed it up. This was my bad. But if you want to see... Uh, me getting my hair done. I got it done today. Keep your eyes peeled. I will be uploading that video later on this week. <coughs> it was a very great experience for me um, and I'll kind of explain just a little bit why um, in that video. But thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!